Hello friends, welcome back. This is full stack development series we are building online course enrollment application. This is episode 10 and in this video I am going to show you how we can configure the SERI log for our .NET Core Web API, also the Azure application insights. Not only that, we will also talk about how to handle the exceptions globally and we will also record the request and response bodies using the middlewares. It's a lot of stuff and then this will be interesting and very useful for the application we need to know what's going on with the application only then if anything goes wrong we can fix it all right without delay come let's get started okay so let's go to portal.azure.com and here if you remember in the web app video i showed you i disabled the application insights right so the reason is you can also create application insights directly here okay so go and click on application insight click search on application insights i have these many application insights click on create here you have to choose some basic informations like subscription resource group a name and uh, where it has to store its log information so those kind of things so here I'm going to name this uh, Azure application insights to whatever it is intent to use. So in this case, I will name this as the uh, smart learn smart. I'll name this as smart learn by Karthik uh, API, right? Because the backend log is what we are going to capture. So I'm going to name this like this. So it's easy to uh, remember. Go to tags, give it a tag and then click on review create. Like I said, if you ask me, can I do this when I'm creating a web app? Yes, absolutely fine. You can do it. That's easy. But you should also know that you can do this separately also. Okay. That's why we are saying different kind of flavors. Now, we created it. It is getting deployed. It takes a minute or so. So once that is done, what you need to do is you need to do a couple of steps in the .NET Core Web API to make this integration work like in order for us to push the logs from our dotnet core to this one you need to do the following thing so go to the resource there's something called instrumentation key okay and then there's some something called connections thing so copy the connections thing it has all the information that is required that's it copy the connections thing go to the uh, code and then we will configure it so i'm bringing up the code and um, what I'm going to do is, so when you get the code for this branch, right, these are the informations that I modified. So in order to proceed with whatever I said as the goal of this video, we need to install the SETI log packages and then Microsoft extension logging packages, application inset packages. You see the six packages, don't worry, these packages, all of these codes are available in github.com, but you need to know what you're installing in order to make this application work that is what is important so look at what i'm doing do not worry about the code now we have three classes they're called middlewares what is this middleware doing us it will actually uh you know get the request and then it is going to add the request in the response body as it is going and also we have something called tele telemetric recording so so one is request body, one is the response body, and we are also pushing this request and response body to the application insights. Okay, that's what that code is doing. Now come to this app settings of JSON. I will expand this. This is what I added. Okay, so what this is doing is this is again I did not invent anything. These are the configuration required for us to open the uh, seri log mechanisms. Okay, so for seri log I added that. Now, this is important. Take a look at this. I added this piece of logic to wire up the SETI log and I added the builder.service.add application insights telemetry for the application insights. The one that I'm highlighting right now is for um, SETI log to log the information to the application insights plus into the local. This one is called global exception handling and these are for the middlewares. That's it. Right? I do not have anything else. So basically, we wired up the seri log and then application insights. So if I come to this uh, app settings of JSON, this is what the code, right? So I'm going to replace the connection string of the application insights here. Okay. I, I actually copy pasted this from my one of my .NET Core Web API. So uh, you can see me renaming the application name. So 
from starting till end i took everything changed only the connections thing okay now we are running this application we are going to hit this endpoint locally which means the application is going to generate some log and those logs are pushed to the azure a portal application insights because of the connection string that we configured as long as you have internet this by now it should have pushed so i'm going to do this couple of things let's go here let's do this refresh you see this server request started showing up if i click it it is basically showing whatever we tested in the local okay this is really important guys so application sets are very important uh you know health logging of the the application so that you know how to troubleshoot how to fix it not only that right application sets will help you to understand how many requests are coming how it is getting processed if something happens wrong it can even send an alert to you that exceptions are happening it's failing so many monitoring informations we can do so now anyway coming back here you see these are the calls made you can click on the samples to see them sample let me just show you some sample you can see the url you can see the response body also loaded see such a big response body let's take something which has some parameters okay so let's go back and take something which has parameters so this one has parameters right so course id uh, we send some course id and then we got some data so i'm going to click on it you see the request is having number 2 and response body is also having the data and then it shows like you know how long it took all of those informations great so this is how you will uh, you know log the information and come back to application insights and uh, view how things are going how many logs are coming you know those kind of things so i will give you related videos in the description feel free to go take a look at that now i will show you how you could have uh, done this in a different way so for example if i go to this learn smart like the the, the app name You see this application insights is showing as it's not configured. It's not connected. We are using it, but it's not connected to each other. So click on it, click on enable, and it is asking you, can I create a new one without knowing that we already created? And there is an option here that you can also choose a one which is already created. So either I can create a resource like this, or the other way around that you saw in the initial video, like the starting of this video, or you come here and click on select existing resource here it will list on every single uh, application size that we have so i will choose the one that i want to have this interconnection and then this is dotnet core app so click on instrument your uh, application and click on dotnet core choose everything like for example recommended and then intro application say okay profiler on snapshot debugger on local variable just literally on everything so it captures more information including the sql server commands so the moment i choose this and apply everything is now integrated this is equivalent of creating the azure app insights as when you create a azure web app also okay both the same so i'm just giving you different flavors you see this there are some failures there are some successful requests all of those things are coming so i can see the failure of this sql um, because you remember uh, i was configuring the free sql it's basically showing i already met the month uh, free that's weird actually um, maybe it was executing for more than 24 hours i don't know anyway i'm going to replace this with a real database uh, which i'm paying it for that's okay but you guys follow either the in memory caching or uh use this one and pause the database okay so if i deploy this which is going to come in the next video you can see the deployed version and you can see the data coming up from the azure sql server itself all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video do subscribe to my channel share this with your friends if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you're interested with something let me know and uh, i'll see you in the next video which is the ci cd pipeline for dotnet core and angular bye bye Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding.